Hi, everyone. Hi, kids. Hello, hello. My name is Marie, and I am part of uh, Kita no Taiko. I'm one of the players in Kita no Taiko, I should say. And I want to say hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to teach you a little bit about taiko drumming. Taiko drumming is an art form from Japan. So it's really beautiful, it's super powerful, and I'm very excited for all of you to learn about taiko. So today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my costume, about these sticks here called bachi. I'll also tell you about how to stand at your drum at home. And we'll have a chance to play together. So I'm very, very excited. Are you ready out there? Do you have your drums ready? Are you excited too? So I want to just start off by telling you a little bit about this very cool outfit I have. It's called a hoppy. That's the coat that I'm wearing. This is my favorite hoppy because it has a crane on the back. Can you spot the bird? I also want to show you this very cool belt. Looks very, very smart. It's called an obi. Can you say obi? So what I wanted to tell you about was the drumsticks. So I'm not sure what you have at home. Hopefully something to hit your drum with. We can't play music without drumsticks. In taiko drumming, we call the drumsticks bachi. Can you say bachi? Bachi come in all sizes, depending on how big your drum is. But this drum is just perfect for the size of my bachi. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my stance. When I stand at the drum, I want to make sure that I can reach out to the drum and that I feel very, very grounded. So feel free. Stand at your drum. Stand right in front of your drum. And you can reach your bachi out to the middle. Good stuff. Hopefully that feels nice and comfortable. I want to start playing with you, and I'm really excited because this is where the fun begins. So we're going to talk about the first note in uh, taiko lessons, which is called a dawn. Now, have them written out for you. Dawn. You're going to learn about Dawn. That's the first note. So the Dawn is one beat and it sounds like this. Dawn. And if you want, at home, when you play your drum, you can say, if you're playing a Dawn, you can say, Dawn, Dawn. So let's try to play four dons. I'm going to do a four beat uh, counting. So I'm going to click my bachi four times. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to play four dons. Awesome. So that's the dawn. I'm going to get you to try. So just a couple things before we start. I want to show you when I count, whenever we start a new 
um, exercise, I'm going to give you four beats in. And I'm going to click my bocce four times. So that means you get ready at the drum. And after the fourth click, you play your music. So I'm going to give you four beats in. And you're going to play four dawns. And so after you play your four dawns, I want you to stop. And any time that I want you to stop so that you can see, I might put my hand in front of my mouth like this. Okay, ready? You try four dawns. Good. So now we're going to get really, really excited about these four dawns because we're going to play eight dawns. I'm going to give you four in, and both you and I are going to play together. We will play eight dawns. Are you ready? Here we go. was eight dawns. Good job, everybody. So we're going to move on to the next note. This is an, a really cool one. It has twice the speed of a dawn, and it's called a... Can you read that? It says... Doro. Okay, so like I said, when you play, you can say Doro. That's how I learn. When I play the notes, I say Doro, 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 Doro. So one Doro sounds like this. It's twice the, it's twice the speed of a Don. Doro. So four Doros sounds like this. I'll give myself four beats in. Did you catch that that was four Doros? Doro, 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 Doro. So I'm going to give us four beats in, and we're going to play four Doros together. Ready? One, two, three, four. Good. Did you stop in time? That was four. Let's try doing eight together. I'm going to give four beats in. And let's do eight Doros. Ready? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was eight Doros. That's awesome. I heard you out there, and you're doing awesome out there. Just have fun with it. Just to have a lot of fun, why don't we play 16 Doros? I'm going to count in my head because that helps to just make sure that we're right on time. So I'm going to do four in, four beats in, one, two, three, four, and let's play 16 Doros. And when we're supposed to stop, I'm going to give you this signal just in case you get a little bit out of hand and too excited because Tycho is very exciting. Ready? One, two, three, four. Was 16 Doros. 
pretty fun, hey? You guys are doing really, really great. Good job on the Doros. We're getting a little bit more fancy here. So you gotta pay attention, okay? The next notes I'm going to teach you are twice as fast as the Doro. They are called Dogo Dogos. Really cool. So the Dogo Dogo, put our fun sign over here, Dogo. Dogo. Okay. So, Dogo and Dogo. They're twice as fast as a Doro. So, I want you to just listen to how a Dogo Dogo sounds, okay? I'm just going to play one beat of a Dogo Dogo. Sounds like this. That's one beat. Dogo Dogo. And like I said, you can say it and play it at the same time. Dogo, dogo. Great. So if I play four dogo dogos, this is how it sounds. Did you catch that? That was four beats. Let's see. Let's see that again. Just watch before you play, okay? So this is four dogo dogos. I'm gonna bounce four times. So fun. Dogo dogos are really, really fun. So let's try it. You guys try it at home. I'm gonna give you four beats in, and then you're gonna play four dogo dogos. We're gonna get right into it. Ready? One, two, three, four. Did you stop in time? That was four dogo dogos. Let's try it again. Four dogo dogos. I'll give you the beat four beats in and we'll play together. One. Two, three, four. Dogo, 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 dogo. Awesome job, everybody. You're learning how to play taiko. I'm very proud of you. You're doing all great out there. Dogo, dogos are really, really fun. So they're twice as fast as doros. Now, the last notation I'm going to show you is Doro Suku. So, if you remember the Doro, the Doro, we learned Doro. Doro sounds like this Doro, Doro, Doro. So, when you say Doro suku. Suku is very interesting. Suku is played quietly. They're quiet doros. Suku. So if I put a doro and a suku together, it sounds like this. Doro suku. Did you catch that? Doro. Suku. Doro suku. So it sounds like this on the drum. Just listen first and then you can play it. Doro suku. Doro suku. I'm going to give you four in and I won't give you um, a, a maximum amount to play. I'm just going to let you have fun with the Doro Sukus. We'll play Doro Sukus because they're really, really cool. So Doros are really big and Sukus get really small. And Doros are very big and Sukus get very small. So I'll give you four in and let's play Doro Sukus together until, I don't know, until we get tired. Ready? 
Get ready. One, two, three, four. Doro suku. Doro suku. Doro suku. Doro suku. Doro. Awesome work out there, you guys. It's starting to sound like music, isn't it? I'm really excited for you. So that was the Doro Suku. Doro Suku. Awesome. So the only last thing I want to show you when we're reading music or playing taiko is we have rests. Rests are when you're not playing the drum and when you're resting what can you do well there are a few things you can do sometimes you can flick your bocce get really fancy or most often what we do in kita no taiko is we use our voice during the rest so when we use our voice during the rest, we can say su. So the su is one way of marking a rest when you do not play the drum. So if I play dawn and I say su with my voice, I won't be playing when I do a rest because a rest is when you're not playing on the drum. So if I want to play Don Su, Don Su, I'm going to use my voice as an instrument during the suits. This is how that sounds. Ready? Su, 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 Su. I'm sure you can do that at home. And it's really, really fun to be able to yell because it gets your energy out. So let's play Dawn Suits together and let's just play them until we get tired. So I will go like this to get you to stop. We're gonna play Dawn Sue, Dawn Sue until we get tired. And we're gonna use our voice for the suit. I'll give you four in. One, two, three, four. Suit. 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 Awesome job, guys. Don Sue. Now, I should say, too, you don't have to say Sue. You can also say Ha or Sore or any other word that you want to use. Any sound that you can make with your, with your voice during the rest. Today, we'll just do the, use the Sue. Okay. So, we have a little bit of time in your lesson. I want to do a little bit of a game. And I hope that sounds okay with you. The game is called Simon Says. So, 
I'm sure you all have played Simon Says at home. Maybe at school? So Simon Says and Tycho is where I play a melody and you copy at home. So I'm going to play something and you're going to copy me. You're going to make it sound exactly how I sounded. You think you can do that? Let's see. We're going to try it. Uh, uh, we're going to do, we're going to just review everything and go really like review the basics. Okay. And then we're going to get a little harder towards the end. So we're going to play Simon Says. You copy me at home. Ready? Two, three, four. I'm going to stop you all here. I hope you're getting the gist of Simon Says. So, I'm going to play a melody, and you're going to copy the melody. The only other thing is you have to play it on time. So, we're going to go slow, and I'm going to play a melody, and right after I play, you can copy my melody. Okay? So, when it's your turn to play, I'm going to be clapping along. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to play. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to play. One, two, three, four. Ready? Here we go.
Soup. 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 Yay! Good job, everybody! Simon says on the taiko drums. Very cool. Good job, everybody. So, last thing I want to show you, and it's really fun. We can do it together, but first, watch. I want to show you a roll. A roll is something fun you can do on the drum. It's lots and lots of notes together, and you can play them in any way. Usually, you could go slow and get faster, or you can start fast and get slower, whatever you would like to do. In this case, I'm going to start slow and go fast, 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 fast. You watch first. This is my roll. Watching first. I think you can do that. You can. Let's try rolling all together. So start slow. When we start slow, sometimes they're butchy. Go really high. And as we're going faster, my butchy gets closer to the drum. So I can get faster. Let's start with our roll. We're going to start slow. And then we're going to get fast. And then I'll tell you when to stop. I'm going to tell you to shush. Okay? Ready? Let's have fun with it. And play as hard as you can at home. Ready? Let's go. I kind of tricked you. I played two roles kind of back to back. I hope you caught that. Most important, just have fun with taiko or whatever type of drumming you decide to do. Drumming is awesome. And I'm very proud of you. You learned a lot about taiko today. And you learned how to play taiko drum. I'm really proud of all of you. And I'm very, very honored to have spent this time with you to teach you the art of taiko drumming. So I'm going to say goodbye here. Thank you all for being so attentive and playing such wonderful music with me. I hope to see you again. And I don't see any questions so far. So I'm going to say goodbye here. Farewell. See you soon.